Okay, we continue the mesh menu and here, continue the mesh menu here in the clone. We can array and the clone the polygon object, not the object. Okay, it's different from the clone and uh, array in a previous lesson that I'll ex that's explained before. <clears throat> First, you have to select a polygon of one object and you can array it. You can clone in X, Y, in Z axis in a number that you want. And for the first to apply, you have to to execute the software. You have to click apply. And as you can see, it's array in three di direction of this polygon. You can, as you can see, uh, array the polygon in any number here that you want. And here you can change the offset in the X, Y, and the Z axis. And here you can add a hole to your object. You can affect something like this, okay? And you can add a move variation, scale variation, or rotation variation in X, Y, and Z axis. Or in the scale, if you want to uniform a scale or not. That's it. And the important thing that is, it is a, one of the polygon, all of these polygon are uh, connected to the main polygon. Okay, another tool is array, clone. For example, select that polygon. The first step, you have to apply it. And here you can change the uh, polygon, uh, colons and the offset. Here you can change the offset of your clone polygon. In which axis do you want to clone it? Here you can uh, change the rotation. In this situation, you can, for example, create a stay or like this. You have a move variation if you want. You have a rotate variation, a scale or rotation variation. Okay. If you want. And you can reset your values or uh, select another polygon and execute exactly these settings to new polygon with new transform. Okay, this is array and clone for polygon. Hello, my friends. To continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.